Providing human demonstrations speeds up robot training by a lot. But this puts an enormous burden on the human to provide demonstrations in every possible situation. In human classrooms, students learn not just from what a teacher corrects, but also from what a teacher doesn't correct. Humans learn from both implicit and explicit feedback, which saves the teacher a lot of time. Can we teach robots to do the same? In this work, we propose a setting of robot learning where a human supervises a robot in action and intervenes to take control when the robot makes mistakes. This type of feedback is natural and easy for them to provide. The task is for the robot to learn from scratch to make collision-free laps around a track using a map, raw sensor data, and a reference path. Initially, the robot has no idea which features are important and crashes constantly. However, over time, the robot learns what the expert cares about by paying attention to the timing and content of their corrective feedback. We call our algorithm expert intervention learning. And while traditional imitation learning techniques took over six minutes of expert demonstrations to clear this corner, our algorithm figured out how to do it in just one minute. Learning from demonstrations, or imitation learning, is significantly more efficient than reinforcement learning or hand-programmed robotic controllers. However, it's still incredibly burdensome on humans. To show why, consider how a human might demonstrate a driving task. The human drives several laps, sticking to the safest portions of the track. However, when the robot takes control, if it makes any small mistake, it's likely to encounter tricky unseen states. And, not knowing how to act, it may make catastrophic mistakes. This difference in states between what the human and the robot encounters is known as covariate shift, and is one of the key challenges in imitation learning. The traditional approach, known as behavioral cloning, is to simply gather a lot of human demonstrations with the hope that you will eventually cover every single possible state. An alternative approach, known as dagger, lets the robot choose where to drive, then asks the expert offline to label every single location the robot visited with the appropriate action. This approach solves covariate shift, but is cumbersome and potentially unsafe. But what if instead we ask the expert to supervise the robot in action and intervene if the robot makes a mistake? This interaction contains a lot of information. An intervention tells the robot when it was doing a good job, how it got into a bad state, and how to recover from that bad state. Because we correct in real time, it requires no cumbersome offline labeling. And because we learn from both explicit and implicit feedback, it requires much fewer demonstrations. The algorithm gathers the feedback, computes a new policy that takes it into account, and repeats this process again and again. The cornering task is challenging because initial misjudgments about the corner can lead to inevitable collision later on. In the first training iterations, the expert babysits the robot, taking control as it approaches the corner. As the robot accumulates more and more feedback, it quickly improves, and the expert has to supply less and less correction. After a few iterations, and only one minute of actual expert control, the robot has mastered this skill. Using behavioral cloning, the robot still failed even after 24 demonstrations and 6 minutes of expert control. Our secret sauce is using a robot control policy based on a state action score function which lets us learn from both types of feedback. Each piece of feedback becomes a soft constraint on the robot's policy. We score the states during nominal robot control as good and the states immediately before intervention as bad. When the expert provides a recovery demonstration, we can use the same function to say that the expert's actions were better than any alternative action. These soft constraints form a loss function, which we search over to find the best robot policy. As we iteratively add more and more constraints, the robot's policy gets better and better. Traditional imitation learning either requires a large amount of expert demonstrations or cumbersome offline labeling. Expert intervention learning lets us learn from much fewer demonstrations because we learn from multiple types of feedback, and it is natural and easy to implement. By iteratively gathering and adapting to this feedback, we provably speed up training by an order of magnitude. For more details, please read our technical report.